Hi, this is Kathy Shantler with Bryan College, and I am taking you today through the steps on how to effectively use OpenOffice.org, which is a free word processing that will open Word documents as well as save your documents as Word documents. However, there are a few steps that you need to do to ensure that you are saving your files as a DOC file so that it does not get disqualified from the grading department. First, here we are at the screen. We are going to open a document. Most of you should have an online template that you've received from your instructor or downloaded from the RTC website. We're going to open up this online template theory. And here is an example that I have typed up in the proper format that documents should be submitted to Bryan College. You want to be sure that your identifying information is flush to the right-hand margin. The way that you ensure that this is to the flush right is up here at the top. You'll see a line right. Be sure that that is clicked so that everything is there. When you go to start transcribing your test or must, these should be aligned to the left. Up here at the top, you'll see where you can click on Align Left to make sure that everything is now coming out of the left margin. Be sure that all of your paragraphs are indented five spaces for each paragraph. Do not skip any lines between paragraphs. Another thing I'll show you is that it, yours may come up bold, like how this is showing. Be sure, if you have anything typed in this area, that you highlight it and you turn off the bold. No test shall be submitted in bold type. Okay, so when you are down here, if you notice that when you are here, the B is lit up, just go ahead and click it off so that nothing comes out in bold. The other thing is you want to ensure that your font is at Courier New. You can click on the drop down arrow to choose Courier New and that your font size is 12. Again, use the drop-down arrow to choose the number 12. Now, your line spacing needs to be double-spaced. Any tests or must that are submitted single-spaced are automatically disqualified. For Open Office, if you go down here to the end, up here on this top one next to the question mark, and you click on that, you will see where it's showing visible buttons. Under visible buttons, you have a whole list of buttons that you can choose for what buttons you want to be able to see along that toolbar area. And then on this second toolbar area, again, there's visible buttons for this one. And you will see that down here under line spacing, there's a line spacing 2. Be sure to turn that on. I just turned mine off because I already had it showing. I'm going to go down and I'm going to tell it line spacing 2. Now it shows me up here that my document is going to be double spaced. If you do not see this in your toolbar, please click on the drop down arrow, go to visible buttons, and choose line spacing 2. Okay, yours will probably default to line spacing 1. So you need to be sure to always choose line spacing 2. Go through, type your document. Now is a very important step on how to save your document as a DOC file. Any other file extension will be disqualified. Go to the top where you see File in the top left corner. Click on File. Click on Save As. And now you can name your file. And the second thing you see here is Save As Type. If you click on the drop-down arrow, you will see all the different file types that you can save your document as. Yours is probably defaulted to an ODT. You want to scroll down until you see Microsoft Word 97 slash 2000 slash XP. Click on that, and now you'll see it's going to save it as a DOC file, and click Save. 
you may get this screen that says the document may contain formatting that cannot be saved. Do you want to save the document in this format anyway? Tell it to keep current format. And now you have successfully saved your document as a DOC file. It is in the proper format. It is double spaced, courier new, font size 12, and nothing is in bold type. Hope this helps.